The following program is presented by Bright Star Credit Union. Hi, my name is Gabby Carbone and I'm from Cooper City High School. Hi, my name is Casey Chapter and I'm in Tallahassee right now, so that's why I'm an Animoji, but I made this short film fleeting and I hope you enjoy. Shortcut. Short film. Hey. So what brings you here? Well, I saw the flyer outside for the social experiment, and it seemed kind of interesting, so I figured why not? What about you? Oh, I'm just in it for the 50 bucks. <laughs> Alright, start. Ask your partner the questions on the cards. When finished, fill out the surveys. Alright, sounds easy enough. Okay. What do you do in your free time? Well, I really like to read and write, mostly poetry and literature and stuff like that. That's awesome. Uh, who are some of your favorites? Oh, I really like Camus recently. Uh, French philosophy is amazing. Um, I just read Sartre's Nausea, and it was so good. Have you read uh, Return to Tapasa? Yeah, it's a really good essay of Camus. I haven't, actually. I should read it. Well, what's your favorite movie? What's your favorite color? Do you have a good relationship with your family? For the time being, I have seen enough of living things, of dogs, of men, of all flabby masses, which move spontaneously. Have you read anything new lately? Oh, actually, I did read something and... We didn't really work out. Oh, um, I've been seeing someone recently too, so. Oh, how long? Well, just a few weeks, but it looks good. So. Does he read?
I'm Melissa Bernardo from Dorado Academy Preparatory, and this is my PSA informing students on the dangers of sharing too much online. Hope you enjoy. Public service announcement. Exactly did I'm just glad I had the resources to get people to donate to my cause. It's no secret that social media can either help or hurt you. After months of searching, and still no luck finding Noah and the police say posting his location on Snapchat may have led the suspects directly to him. Choose your post wisely. Media matters. I'm Noel Ramsey, and I'm from West Pirate High School, along with Talia Kaplan and Kaitley Hernandez. This is our short film entitled, It Should Have Been Me. Enjoy. Shortcuts. Short film. Hi, my name is Ana Julia Morales, I'm part of Firebird TV, and alongside Aquiles Barreto and Lauren Bonet, we created this PSA titled Web for the All-American High School Film Festival. Hope you enjoy! Public Service Announcement
Hey guys, I'm Ethan. I'm Nicole. I'm Andrew. And I'm Ryan. And we made Dreamcatcher for our FSPA district competition. Hope you like it. Enjoy. Shortcuts. Music. Video. Dream catcher sticking for the silver screen, my mind's protector. So quiet. Dream catcher, please another. Take my dreams and make them better. It's cold to vibrant. In my dreams, make me feel pretty. In my dreams, make me my happy self. All dreams can slow the city. Don't need money to feel comfortable. Show me scenes I purposely forgot in my dreams, my dreams, my dreams. And I'm Jackson Menendez. This is our experimental film, Escape from Reality. Enjoy. Shortcuts. Short film. Constantly, life brings us scenarios where we can be fooled by the metaphorical masks people wear. But there has always been a place where I can escape to. A place where my mind meshes reality with my imagination. So, this is where my dreams blend with the real world. My mind framed this place where I can simply be what I want to, without the eyes of others passing judgment on me. And this, this is my escape from reality.
Josh Fridemer, and this is my short film entitled The Magic of Time. I hope you enjoy. Shortcuts. Short film. Dear Jake, it's been a while since you've written me back. You know, I, I, don't, I don't feel the slightest hesitation in writing this to you. I just thought you should know how much I've missed you since you left. These walls are a lot quieter nowadays, that's for sure. And they've been that way for a long time now. I don't know where you are, and I don't know when you're going to come back. But that's okay. I trust that you're thriving out there, away from me, because I know you can handle anything that gets thrown your way. I know you're that strong. I'm still getting used to this distance between us. You know, I'm used to having you around to talk through all of these things. But we held on to each other and never let go. You know, they say fatherhood is a teaching opportunity. No other. You, son, became my teacher. You were the one that kept me going, and you taught me to never give up. And you taught me that I could love somebody more than myself. Daddy was a little lazy about setting up the crib. And mommy doesn't know how, but I'm gonna do it today, I promise you, baby. He feels heavy. Am I holding him the right way? Yeah, he's only eight pounds. Okay, I just, my Unlock, arm. Uh, when he gets a little bigger. My arm is hurting a little bit, so uh, we're just gonna put you down here. You're magical. Never forget that. You taught me more than you could ever know. And I am so, so sorry. Hey, that's my phone. Come back here. Hmm? Jake, he's in the tree. <laughs> For this innocent looking little dinosaur. I love it. I love this scene. <coughs> Because in a lot of ways, my whole life has been leading up to this one sweet, if sweaty, moment in the spotlight. You're magical. Never forget it. I remember when she was sick, you were the link that kept us fighting. I'm sorry for every time that I put you off. For every time that I made you my last priority, you should have been my first. Hey, Dad, you wanna play some ball? Hold on a second. Uh, listen, babe, I've got a lot of work problems today. Maybe another time. I love you. Okay, Dad, I love, love you too. Hey, Dad, you wanna watch sports with me? I'm busy, Jake. Man, I regret so much. What the hell were you thinking? Dad, it's Skip not a big deal, just calm down. Skipping school to go out with your friends? I got a phone call, you know. What the hell's going through your mind? 
Dad, it's I'm, just not a big deal. I'm just please, just... I'm standing here waiting for you. I don't even want to discuss this now. Just get in the hell in the house. Dad, no. Go in the house. Go in your room. Just get out of here. I'm so pissed. I get hit you. What the hell? <sighs> just want you to know that there's nothing. There's nothing that I regret more than not following you out the door that day. Dad, I'm sorry about yesterday. I just didn't understand your point of view, but you have to understand that it's so hard for me without Mom. It's just been so hard for me. This is not all about you. You know, Mom's death doesn't give you an excuse to just leave school anytime you want and just do whatever you want. I'm hurting also. I miss her so much. You just can't do whatever you want to do anytime. If, you know what? You know what? If you can't follow my rules and you, you can't stay in school, then just leave. Leave the house. Just get out of here. Go. I should have never let you go. You were the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I should have ran out there. I should have turned you around. I should have hugged you and I should have brought you back in. I am so, so sorry. Because I didn't. Shortcuts was brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union.